TV to the end. Suns fan TV three. Does somebody <laughs> beat you to that one well, too? <laughs> well, then I'll I'll just call it something ridiculous. That's just yeah, he has so many like, immortals. Like, come on, dude. It looks Jesus. like he got this shit at the thrift shop. Lepushka! Lepushka! First blood goes away. F. Oh, that that's actually with fiber. Double reads. You remember when it used to give 8% evasion to the holder of Radiance only? Yeah, I remember. And then they got rid of it because it was too good. And then they put in a 17% chance to miss That's right. on this everyone. Is a, this is a balanced disaster. Oh, mid lane, FN is going to leap away to safety. Get a couple right clicks on the FN. FNG. You know, FNG is only free. Top lane. Top lane, bro. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's trying to TP out. Oh, he dies in the fountain. Oh, oh and he pings no. himself. He's like, why is this the thing? And I don't even know how to answer that for you, my friend. Mid lane, Mipushka. Initiated on yet again, but FNG's going to take an absolute beating. Arrow will connect. Can he actually finish this off? Does he have vision? Oh, my oh. God. What? Oh, oh. No. That smoke. That Everything is that could go wrong has gone wrong. <laughs> it hits the arrow. The, the hit lands uphill. He pops the smoke. Oh, man. I mean, let's be That arrow should not have hit. That was really stupid. That FNG is bad, super yeah. mad right now. And Ron's like, hey, I, I still got leap, by the way. Not me. You know, I was just about to say this up with that. But now a minute he later, he's died and he's the same level. Now he's sad. Oh, he's going to take the DD rune. Oh, Mposhka. Time is money. They're gonna turn this around. He is silenced right now, has a spike carapace. Won't actually do anything though. But there's enough heroes here that you would imagine FNG is eventually gonna die, but there's a possibility of a neutral deny. So he's gonna pull that off. He's gonna roll on top of Mipushka, who's gonna end up getting the kill. So three for one advantage for Empire right now as Biber oh, runs away so very fast. low HP. Oh, that's true, he's just gonna, he's gonna go after FN here. All right, I'm just looking at the crotch of a wild ring so I can't get a good view. Too much work. If only we had a, a professional spectator. Bottom lane, axe initiated upon. And the fall down will be more than enough to gotcha. Oh, we have yet to really see a rupture yet. I mean, he's just been farming, like you said. And very content for doing so. Here comes the initiation. Nice kickback onto Chappie. Moonlight Shadows activate. Here comes the initiation of both. They're showing off his blink dagger. Bonus here onto an A8. Old Venomancer is the first to drop. Vanscore looks to be next thanks to the Rocket Barrage. Void doesn't have time walk and just gets completely owned thanks to the Star Storm. So it ends up being a fight impact is still quite useful. They have a lot of spells to combo off of the Chronosphere, so that's nice. Uh oh. The finds. I love to win. FN is here with an arrow, and that should be more than enough to take out the position one <laughs> hero. But yeah, he, he loves eating them. That's Dyer. that's kind of understand that's, that's, uh, at first because I was like, are you talking about a gyro? <laughs> that's right, bro. Disruptor gets initiated upon. It's gonna be a pretty easy kill overall. Poshka. Radiance bottom potentially look for a kind of initiation, but Chappie right now is pretty happy at pushing this, this bottom lane. Entries, but Empire's gonna be able to get the jump with it to find the Yeah, uh, Axe will oh find God. the... Oh, he misses the call! Glimpse into an Impale, not the greatest synergy, but they end up getting it down one way or the other. So that's another dead faceless void call down on top of the Poison Nova. Looks like the AA Blast will connect. FNG is the next to fall, so it's a two for nothing. As the Empire looks to regroup. Chappie still applies with the Ice Blast. The tail will hit Bloodseeker. They can see him with a connect field, but... Not sure if they have the damage to actually take him out. Axe jumps and the arrow will not hit. There's a ton of creep. Iceberg. He's getting pretty low. He's gonna have to use rupture and try to run away, but looks to not be happening today. So three for nothing. Great initiation for him. Shadow is applied now. Let's we'll see if they get a good initiation disruptor. Glimpsing the gyro capture into the static storm kinetic field combination. Gale will completely miss if Makoshka is here with a nice mana burn. Faceless Void gets only the Chrono onto one. Could be enough to kill the Mixed Assassin when applied with the Ice Blast. But Gyrocopter actually ends up dying to the Poison Sting. Earth Spirit barely gets out into the fountain. And it looks like this is going to be a 4 for. Wait, what? Vanstor? Oh, FNG died in the fountain? I'm going to check this for a second. So we have the cancel of the TP, and it looks like Void is going to be next, although he will try to deny himself the Ancients. That is the only play here, my friend. And he will get it! Woo! That just pops the veil and this guy's all die. It's a ridiculous amount of damage. 
Oh, last time? In the first one, it was like a so, so much damage here. Yeah. The old rupture ice blast combination. Gotta love it. Fall down to come through as well, and that would be the one that finishes him off. Actually, no. I lied. It was rupture. All right, oh. chap. You still got to kill on FNG. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, when you're Venomancer and you're dead, you're probably going to get at least one more kill, right? That's what it feels like, right? Every time he always takes a push gut. Is that a Moonlight Shadow I heard? Nope. He's just invisible with Mendetti. He's going to use the Impale right off the bat into a static from Connect Kill combination. Go stick with the jump in and the Blade Mail. He should be able to get this kill. Well, that actually will not be the case. He's going to to die first. The glimpse back onto the face of Floyd. Venomancer, though. He does get off his goal. That means he's going to get about three or four kills this game. And this fight. Dead. Yeah, now the Chrono Sphere onto two. Beautiful combination with the Earth Spear. Dealing so much damage Wait, over time. They actually are all dead. And, well, I think we'll do. All right, very good. And here comes uh, FN to clean everybody up. Faceless Void. He only has Poison Sting applied. So they need a little bit more damage. Picked up. But uh, in this game, I don't think Calvert's is that great. There's a lot of... I think they have three right clickers. Oh! Oh, the leap rupture combination, his counter initiation from the axe onto the Bloodseeker with that blade mail. That is more than enough damage, good sir. While being the gentleman. Imagine, Brad. Imagine Sounds how great like your life, life would be. Life on easy mode. Exactly. Don't underestimate a man in the top hat. Gyrocopter. That needs to be a cosmetic as well. Looks like we're gonna have the gyrocopter die here. Nick Assassin will be the trade, but FN G. Gets chopped down by ghosting. Yep. All right, so let me ask you something. Have you ever called you a genius? Um. My, other than myself, no. <laughs> I'll be the first person. You're a genius. These cosmetic ideas are cool. Ooh. Finds the void. He knows that. Well, time walks back again, but. I'm like Shadow. Yeah, they see him. He gets silenced. He really needs to get uh, a Lotus Orb real bad. Gets stunned up by the, the homie missile. But here comes Axe with initiation. On to Gyrocopter. Do they actually have enough? What? He just got bounced away by Earth Spear. Beautifully done. It's gonna cost him his life, but definitely worth it. Chrono Spear on two. Maybe be Axe the first to fall. This Rupter looks to be next on the list. Gyrocopter still pretty low HP. Has to be careful here. Bloodseeker attempting to run away. Gets stunned thanks to Spike, Careface, and Radiance. And now he is stuck in a terrible, terrible spot. Gets right click down very easily by FN, who is now silent. It's a two for two. Gets stunned by the cold feet, gyrocopter. I got a home missile for you. <laughs> well, here comes Faceless Void. He has Mask of Madness available. He has Marana and company look to be taken out, but the wand will keep him healthy. And now gyrocopter trying to go to work. He gets another home missile, but the arrow completely decapitates him, and the Lincoln Spear blocks the, the homing missile completely. And Viber is the last remaining member of Radiant Team Spirit. Spotting. Looks to be going down as long as Maposha can hit this stun, which he cannot. The Gale will actually hit, but he's going to be fine. There should be a shrine close by. Is he going to make it to the shrine, though? All right, we'll see. Oh, it's Viber Watch, ladies and gentlemen. He makes it. I can't believe it. Earth Spear in the meantime. Going to dodge the arrow thanks to that creep sacrificing his life. Mikoshka. Ice Blast will completely miss. And that's going to break things up. All right, there. I mean, Team Empire, once they get the jump, this fight's pretty easy, even with the Chrono. And we'll no be going guy, for Manta next. You know what I've noticed? Every Mirana has gone completely. Disruptor? He did. Or is he? Oh, one more right click's gonna take him out. He does get off the static storm domination. Venomancer gets disrupted into an ice blast and Cronus. That's a lot expended on the Venomancer. Probably worth though, because he did not get his ultimate off. Faceless Void right click down by the Mjolnir, holding Mirana, and that's gonna be two kills for her. SMG. He jumps right into an axe. That is probably the last person you want to jump. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Gets chopped down into the ground. Super, super underrated. Very, very good. Definitely is. Well, Mapushka is scouting things out. Sentry is placed. He gets silenced. We've seen this before. A blast as well. He's done. And that means that Empire. But we'll see if they actually attempt to fight. Around the Roche pit, rupture onto FN. He's at half HP. Blood right coming in. Counter initiation on Axe onto the Blood Seeker. He pops the BKP pretty shortly here. Static storm, kinetic kill combination, doing essentially nothing. Good Chronosphere onto Murana, although it stuns most of his team, so maybe not so good. Chappy does get off his ultimate this time. Is there enough right click damage coming out? It's Chappy the Machopperson takes out the Void. Next looks like the Gyrocopter. He's just going to use the old right click, the old fashioned one. What a nice gentleman he is. So it's a three for one. 
Couldn't agree more. Of course, this here is quite underrated. Oh, we got the triple arrows incoming. Ghost Tick is ruptured. He's just going to walk away. He's going to be just fine, but the Static Storm is going to completely demolish the Earth Spirit. And Axe just waits out the rupture, and now they don't have a big spell missile. Plus, it is insane. It just ends up being so awesome. Radiant's middle tower has cool. fallen. Get your Apostle. Uh, it is. Scanning. Arrow will not connect, but they'll get a little bit of vision, and that means Axe is in a lot, or Gyrocop is in a lot of trouble. He pops the BKB, but gets chopped down very early in this fight. And they're actually going to continue here. Chronosphere on the two, doing decent amount of damage to the Nyx. Gets stunned out. It's got a one for one, but that's Chronosphere down. Gothic's going to miss his call, but that's the glimpse onto the Void. Who gets arrowed right after the leap, and that is a dead faceless Void for 60 seconds. That's two cores dead with no buyback. Aegis. Still online for Murano with this MKB. He's trying to suicide himself, I guess. Uses up that Aegis. And this looks to be a Rax, if not more, for Team Empire. There's a uh, multi arrows action. Let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a great skill. When that first came out, I was like, this is so stupid. But even if they don't connect, it gives so much vision. Especially when going high ground. Super, super good. They actually connect a lot more than something. Yeah. Like in the middle of these it's like you're playing a mini game trying to dodge these fucking arrows. Oh, looks like we have to jump in on the Earth Spirit. Rupture onto Ghost Stick though as the return. Ice Blast will not connect, but enough damage should be up output here by Iceberg to take him out. So it's a one for one. But look at this right click from Marana. Dear God. Iceberg cannot get away. He does buy back immediately, but this is a second rack. Empire will probably just back up with Moonlight Shadow. Although Axe did buy back. So maybe they just want to finish now. A little bit surprised, but we'll see. Arrow will connect on the TP for Gyrocopter. Oh, he just respawned. Oh, no, not like this, please. Now, with that, that might be the GG, but we'll have to wait and see. BKB pop by Void. It doesn't really get anything out of it. Has Chronosphere in 16. What follow up is there? There's the Ice Blast. Unfortunately, no call down because Gyrocopter is dead. So, Empire should be feeling pretty confident here. Venomaster is just sitting up at the top lane. Going to town on this tier 3 rack, or tier 3 tower. See if they can breach again. Here comes Void. There's a Chronosphere into AAL. Two heroes is pretty good. Venomaster is getting quite low. Doesn't have really much mana to speak up either. They're going to be able to clean them up pretty easily, actually. Ghost Thing pops the BKB inside the Static Storm. To see the call off, but really to no avail. Beautiful double stun from from the Earth Spirit, as Axe looks to be dead next, so Empire might have overextended just a little bit. They do get the Blood Seeker, which is a pretty huge kill, and they are going to walk away with two racks down, but probably a little unneeded death here. This can end up being a team wipe, unless this Impale can save them, which it might. The Vendetta, Blink Dagger, let's see. I've never actually seen the four second Sacred Arrow cooldown count. Of initiation. I see the arrows. Will any of them connect? Nope. A blast does come in. Hits a couple here. The first mix of is gonna be pretty annoyed with that. But Venomancer, he does get off most of his spells. It's a one for one chrono spear on two. Only one hero. Five back onto Venomancer. And he's gonna TP in. I, I'm not sure if he has to travel or not, but either way. Void taking the brunt of the damage. Arrow will connect. FN, Aegis was used. And with that, I do believe that is gonna be the GG's called. No big surprise. Empire, very competitive series overall. And they'll come on top, which means that they will face Virtus Pro next in a best of five grand. Very nice series. Competitive. I mean, both teams could have won this game. We saw Bloodseeker.